This is Russell Fagan, aka Sinistral Rifleman, and this video was part of my review of the Vortex Micro 3X magnifier that you can find on InRange, linked in the description below. And now here's my complete match video from the Rio Black Rifle Match held December 7th, 2019. This stage has three arrays of two targets at 100, 200, and 300 yards. Because of the distances, I'm going to shoot the whole stage with the magnifier in place. From this first position, you can see me shooting from a reverse kneeling position where my strong side knee makes contact with my shooting elbow for stability, and I'm pulling into the corner of the prop for maximum stability as well. On this side, the target order is reversed, starting at 300 yards. I'm using reverse kneeling here as well, but I'm not as stable because I'm sitting on top of the prop rather than having the ability to pull into anything. When I'm done at this position, I move back to the original position and the target order engagement is back to 100, 200, then 300 yards. I'm first place in stealth division, giving me 100 match points. Overall, I'm fourth with 93.72% of the winner's score. This stage has three targets at 375 yards and one target at 390 yards. Targets one through three at 375, target four at 390. On this stage, I have to shoot target one, then four, then two, then four, then three, then four, before moving on to the next position. This stage having the furthest distance targets is where I notice the biggest difference in the clarity of the optic seeing the targets downrange versus my other magnifiers I've used at this event. It was much easier to see the target against the backdrop and consequently send more accurate shots at those targets. From this position I have to shoot target 4, then 3, then 4, then 2, then 4, then 1. The strobe lights on these targets really help speed up the feedback process for both the shooter and the range officer and eliminate any doubt whether a target was hit. The challenge for me on these stages is balancing how much time I want to spend stabilizing versus just sending the shot. I'm first in stealth division, giving me 100 match points. Overall, I'm second with 87.61% of the winner's score. I begin the stage with the magnifier in place to shoot two smaller square targets at about 60 yards. I flip the magnifier out of the way to engage all the close range paper. I opt to engage all the close range paper from one position, shooting at partials rather than moving to get full presentations. Two hits anywhere or one A zone neutralizes all the paper. From this position, I'm not very stable on the first two targets, then I settle in and go one for one on the second two targets. I think this stage is a good example of how easy it is to flip the magnifier in and out of place. It's arguably faster than dialing a variable up and down. I'm first in stealth division, giving me 100 match points. Overall, I'm fourth with 92.61% of the winner's score. This stage begins with two arrays of diamond targets at about 90 yards. Once I'm done on these targets, I'll flip the magnifier out of the way and jump down into the pit to engage some close range paper. It's done. Woo! Reload on the way up, flip the magnifier back in place, get into position to engage these two diamonds off to the left. Then I'll switch back over to the right side of the tower to engage one target at 200 yards, then the array of three diamonds out at 90. I'm first in stealth division, giving me 100 match points. I'm sixth overall with 78.67% of the winner's score. On this stage, for the heck of it, I decide to go for all headshots. Single hit above the neckline of the target counts as neutralization. 
This is in fact slower than just sending two rounds of the body as fast as you can slap the trigger. But I thought it was a good opportunity to practice my bore offset. I do in fact neutralize all the targets without any problems. After I clear the paper, I have to transition to the next bay without breaking the 180 with my rifle. As I enter the next bay, I slap the magnifier into place, reload, and move into position to engage three targets at 300 yards. In the truck bed, I have to deal with some bounce factor, but I make short work of the steel at 300 yards using the magnifier. Because I decided to slow myself down and go for headshots, I'm second in stealth division with 91.97% of the winner's score. Overall, I'm 11th with 80.65% of the winner's score. In the final results, I'm first in stealth division with 491.97 points out of 500 possible. Overall, I'm fourth with 97.21% of the winner's score. I'd say this is a successful test of the Vortex Micro 3 power magnifier. It more than allowed me to hold my own against other competitors using variable optics in a match format that tends to favor them. The Vortex Micro 3X red dot magnifier truly is the best red dot magnifier I've used to date. If you shop around online, you can find them for under $300 currently, making it an incredible value for all the features it comes with. The optical clarity is not surpassed by anything else in its price range, and everything the mount offers makes it much more usable than buying another magnifier and a supplementary mount from another company. Vortex definitely has a winner on their hands with the Micro 3X magnifier, and I will personally be picking up another one that will have a permanent home on one of my rifles. Thank you for watching. Come back again for more match and multi gun competition content.